in the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how to create this wonderful material based on Spider-Man Into the Spider-Bird style. Sit down, relax and enjoy. Once you have the blend file, I will leave you with this uh, blend project with this no trick called it shaderverse, where you will find all the controllers of this uh, mater material based on the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse movie, okay? So uh, let's create, I I'm gonna leave a link in the description, okay? With this uh, project. So uh, let's create a new project. And uh, let's create, let's add a monkey with shade smooth, subdivision surface with two levels, apply on the sampling on EV. Let's put this on 256. Remember that this material won't work in cycles. This is, this is, this is only for, uh, for EV. So let's split the view and uh, let's switch to the render view. And uh, okay, let's go here to the shader editor. Let's go to the world. I'm gonna delete this node. Say this is for Octane render, and bring this down to zero. Okay. I'm gonna create a new area light here with uh, 40 watts of power. Okay, here we got it. Uh, maybe. I'm gonna move this here to create a, a two lights, two point light uh, setup. Move this here. Let's make it a disc shape and increase the 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 size. Okay, so now let's go to the object here. I'll create a new material. Let's go to file. Append, and uh, let's go to the location of our of our blend project, the Spider-Man 2 Shader Burst blend project. Append, and let's go to Node 3, and we'll go to import this Shader Burst. Click on Append again. Delete this. Press Shift A. Group. Shader burst and look this here. You won't see anything because we got this uh, black color. So let's make this red and in increase the color value to one. Okay, and we start to see something here. Let's go to the shadow lines contrast. I think. Yeah, let's move this here. And let's play with the shadow lines brightness. Maybe let's increase the the power of this light, the size and the power, something like this. Okay, we're good. Now we're going to increase the shadow lines scale, and we will start to see these. Uh, this lines pattern in the shadow region okay and uh, we also got the dots highlights so let's increase here the, the scale of these let's play with the contrast okay here we are and the dots highlight fall off something like this okay this effect will also depend on the light power and the light size so just experiment with this until you got a nice result for example if i increase the the, the uh, power here uh, here you can see how this affect the, the material fall off also the size okay maybe let's increase the, the scale here so as you can see we got this nice 
material based on into the Spider-Verse style. Uh, the good thing is that we made this just with uh, within, I don't know, one minute. Another cool thing about this is that you can plug your own textures here. So for example, if I take this, let me unplug this. I got here this color. And uh, if I just plug this here, we are going to be using this uh, this texture as as the albedo map for the for the shader. Okay. Uh, and another another cool cool thing about this is that we can go here to the color overlay and add another color and maybe mix to two colors. Okay. Another thing that you must have in account is that, for example, if you plug a texture here and this looks too dark, you can play with the color value to increase the brightness until you see your texture uh, as with with the brightness, with the expected brightness, okay? And uh, we also got here this emission just in case you have an, you want an emissive material or for example, an emissive texture. Let me create a noise texture. Uh, for example, uh, okay. Let me add here a color ramp. Put this in constant. Okay. Connect this here and connect this on the emission and as you can see we got the here this emission texture and this will work in the same way that the color for the albedo map and uh, another cool thing here is that if you want to create like some kind of metallic material with this shader we can bring these dot highlights fall off uh, down and we can increase the clear coat and you will have this specular layer here that you can control here with the with the clear coat roughness just in case you want to create like some kind of metallic uh metallic material One thing that I forgot to mention about the clear coat is that if you want to create this cool effect of shiny uh, lines on your Spider-Man model, you'll need to use a texture like this and uh, plug this on the clear coat. Actually, let me unplug this. You can see that we don't have the effect anymore. Actually, you can see here the, the clear coat let me put this here on 0.5 and plug this here again. Maybe you will need to use a math node, this one, math and multiply, and then multiply your texture until until you, you have this uh, white um, black uh, look. Also, you can control this with a with a color ramp. Okay, and uh, that's it.